Greetings everybody, this is Dave Matuzik from MacDeck Engineering and I'm here for another tech tip. Now what I have here is a part that I'm doing some trimming on. This is actually a piece of composite and I can cut it all in one shot just by, bl uh, just by blasting right through it just like that. The problem is this composite is a little bit abrasive and what would happen is as I'm cutting here you know I have a quarter inch tool I got a half inch of flute on it and I'm only using this much flute right here. So what's happening is I'm wearing a notch into my end mill and I'm wasting all this good flute up here. So what some people actually will do is they'll wear that notch off, cut off, regline the end of the end mill. It's not worth that effort. Let me show you a cool little feature here a lot of people in Mastercam might not be aware of. It's been here for a couple versions now and what it is it's called oscillate. So I'm going to go here and in my contour type, I'm going to set it here to oscillate. And I'll show you these two options here. There's linear and high feed. We'll do linear first. And maximum depth is the maximum additional amount of depth to add to that cut. And let me show you what that means first. So I'm going to set this here to be, I'll do point, uh, 0.1. And this is the size of the oscillation. And I'm going to actually to shrink this down to an inch. So what I'm going to do here is regenerate that. Let's look at the side view here and you can see these little oscillations that move up and down. Now what's going on when I do that is the tool as it moves along the piece as you can see is oscillating up and down in the Z and that allows me to use more flute on my end mill. So what I can come in here and do here is I want to use a little more flute I know this value here works and I'm going to just regenerate this and we're going to back plot that again. So you see I'm using almost the whole flute of the tool. Now what might uh, worry some people is that sharp Z motion, that sharp up and down motion. They might be worried about uh, just a machine kind of having to jerk around like that. So I'm actually going to put this on high speed. And what I might actually do is I might shorten up. Let me make this distance a little longer actually. And you see how different that looks in the side view? It looks like ocean's waves rather than squiggly lines. So I'm going to come up here and you can see how much smoother that Z motion transition is as I cut along that piece. And again, because I'm moving up and down and using the whole flute length of that cutter, I'm not going to wear a groove inside of that tool. So that's what an oscillate tool pass is really good for if you're cutting some thin material or just doing some trimming, especially if something's a little bit abrasive. It's a great way to get full flute length use of that tool and to get that tool to wear evenly. Alright everybody, thanks and have a great day.